I'm just gonna say it. I think the Mario movie was a good movie. And this is how I fell in love with the Mario movie. So in the beginning of this, I was gonna explain how I like sped run going through my home, going home, going to the movies, talking about it. But I'm just gonna be talking about what I love about it and what I don't love about it. Cause honestly, I'm really tired of like trying to edit all these videos and get them in in time. So bear with me and um, yeah, I love you guys. I wanna talk about a lot of things about this movie. So the first thing I wanna talk about is voice actors. I thought Mario, Luigi and Donkey Kong were all right voice actors they're not a bad choice but for donkey kong at first i was a little bit thrown off with his laugh but i thought it was really funny at the end everyone else sounded like how they should be normally but for bowser the bowser voice actor jack black he's amazing he was he he wasn't in the movie as much as i thought he would be but man dude i love bowser that was just an amazing showcase of how a villain can be so villainous like, yeah, he played as Poe, but now he's playing as, like, some dude who can, like, I don't know, kick your ass. Like, I thought that was amazing. And, yeah, I would watch it all over again just for him. I love the man. But let me just talk about some things that I really didn't like about the voice acting. I think Cranky Kong and Princess Peach were kind of lacking in the voiceover. I was trying to warm up to Cranky Kong, but I just didn't get none of it. It's just Cranky Kong didn't feel as cranky as I thought he would be. And for Peach, I guess she didn't sound elegant or princess enough, but I think that's just me. So yeah, that's how I thought of it. They all did a good job and I thought the best were Bowser and maybe Toad even because I like Toad, Bowser, and maybe a little bit of Luigi. Those are the my top three. Everyone else, eh, they're all right. I'll give voice acting a seven out of 10. Now let's talk about animation. I don't really think I need to talk about animation because it's illumination and they made almost everything under the sun. So I would I would say they did a really good job. And I know this isn't like the Smash Bro levels of intros, but it got the job done and it did 10 times better than what I would thought animation would be. It had amazing world scenes and it did so many homages to so many easy Easter eggs that I couldn't even really catch them all. I think that what I would say is the bad part was that there were so many Easter eggs that my brain couldn't even catch them all. So I will be most likely watching the movie again and someone's gonna probably beat me to it where they like name every Easter egg in the Mario movie but I think I would I would love to watch this movie again for just you know how amazing the animation was and it had a really good shots too so yeah i'll give the animation a i don't want to go too big but yeah eight out of ten i would say i would say the music was all right it wasn't something that was really big but it was something that was good enough i would say they used almost everything to like super mario bros to even super mario galaxy music and it was incredible to hear all these musics remixed or even better yet used also including some sound effects like the chain chomp hitting a coin block, Bowser roar, and just almost everything to like even Bowser stomping. The only thing I could really say that made me upset or was just making me not like, oh man, I wish it was in there, was the Super Mario Odyssey song or just not using that one song, One Up Girl. It was a banger and I thought it would be a good fitting for this movie. So yeah, it's sad not to see it, but maybe it would just be awkward to hear it when Miss Pauling is not seeing it. So yeah, I'll give music a six out of 10. It wasn't something that was really big, but it did a job. Um, but I'm gonna rate the solo piece by Bowser Peaches. I'm gonna just rate that a 10 out of 10 and I'm gonna have that as a separate category because even though it's a song and it's in music it's so good that it needs to be in its own category i would give it peaches out of 10 maybe you know yeah no peaches out of 10 that's how serious i think that song did so we talked about music animation voice actors and almost everything under the sun so i think it's time that we talk about the plot 
And what I'm just gonna say is that the plot wasn't too bad. I can see why a lot of people are upset on the internet saying it's not too deep or it didn't make me cry, but I don't understand why or where this anger is coming from. I would say that the plot's fitting that it's Mario and Luigi becoming successful plumbers in a different world. Hold up, wait, is this an isekai? I'm, I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that, but I, I feel like the plot could be focused more on the aspect of like completing your dreams and proving others that you can do it with hard work instead of just doing something cool and win with explosions and action but also i feel like everyone's forgetting that this is a this is mario it's a kids game and we're not kids anymore this film is for the new generation i think it's not bad at all really and it's not like a soulless cash grab when it's including mostly everything from every title it might be nostalgia baiting but i don't think it really is i think it's it has heart in it and i think it put a lot of effort it's not like i don't know for instance shrek 3 or maybe i don't know the i say series but like but i think it kind of just handled itself with like having a cohesive plot but not cohesive enough because there is some things in it that i don't like like the father not apologizing for his mistakes he said something terrible and he didn't really own up to it and he kind of just said good job son you did great instead of saying you know i'm sorry that i said those things let me apologize and yeah but and also i felt like the movie was moving a little too fast i was hoping for more content and more explanations of other stuff but you know maybe that's just me i wish they just went all out with this and made it like five hours long or even six but it's just testing the waters for now but all in all it's not bad to the point of not enjoying it but it's not good enough to call it a masterpiece I love it, but it has some flaws. I would say the plot is a 6 out of 10 as well. The last thing I'll have here is speculations, because what is a video without having some speculations, you know? It's a Mario review, but I just want to think about all the things that can come out of this movie. Let's talk about other Nintendo properties. We have Mega Man, Kirby, we have the Fox Crew, we have Zelda. There's so many other movies that could be done by Illumination that would be pretty cool to see. So basically my whole, my one of my speculations is Nintendo products. Another one is a DK movie. Explaining the King K stealing all the bananas would be pretty cool to see and maybe seeing more of the Donkey Kong family. Luigi Mansion and his and Mario having to be saved by Luigi would be also amazing to see because Luigi did not get enough screen time and it kind of makes me sad because I really think Luigi is a really good character. I love Luigi and I love everything about him so yeah hoping for more Luigi. The Super Mario 2 might be pretty cool. Maybe it might introduce the Kooplings like Bowser Jr or I don't know it could introduce a lot of things. A whole, a whole Super Mario Odyssey movie where Princess Peach doesn't pick either Bowser or Mario and have Miss Pauling there too. Or maybe Yoshi and Baby Mario. But I don't know if this would make any sense because Mario was like with Luigi at all times in the movie. But maybe they might be able to cook something up because the duo was pretty amazing. Toad Adventures, because you know, just I just want some Toad stuff, bro. Toad is like a cute, lovable character. I think the voice actor Peel is like amazing, and yeah. Also, I would love to see a Toadette as well. Mario Sunshine, where he goes to meet those funny people with Princess Peach and Toadsworth, and like he has to clean up the island, and I think that would be pretty cool too. Maybe. Maybe it could be even a show, but I I don't like how shows have like less production in it, so it might be worth to be a movie. And I think I'm gonna leave the rest to all those speculator channels because I, I can't keep going on. I'll just leave it to other people on the YouTube website. So yeah, this is it. I would say the rating of the whole movie, I would rate it an eight out of 10, honestly. I don't know why a lot of people don't like this movie, but I think it's really good. This movie shows with adaptation of characters can do with love and care we can even get a link awakening movie or just anything even so yeah strap in for whatever comes next from illuminations but thank you for watching this you know review and i hope you enjoyed it this has been the mario movie review and i hope you have a good one